Hello. Hello chào mọi người. Mọi người mở camera lên đi. Hello teacher. Chào mọi người. Mọi người có nghe. Hi. Hold on. Have you, have you all listened to me? Can you hear me? Yes, okay, good. I can hear you. What about Ngọc? Where are you, Ngọc? Let's see. Let me see how I can unmute. <coughs> Ngọc, can you unmute you? đợi xíu nha cô em mới gọi và chị ok thank you hi all right hi ngọc hello teacher Can you hear me now? Yes. Good, good. All right, let me share. How are you today? Tired. Tired? Yes. From work? Yes, because um, today I will uh, work so much. Work? Yes. Oh, you work. Yes. Cổ rồi bà Give me one second Let me see how I can share The screen Okay, now you can you see my screen yet? Yes. Good. Okay, so welcome to my class, my English class. And um, yeah, I'm new teacher for you today. So let me talk a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Nhi Jen, Nhi Jen. So, um, and people usually call me Sophie. Sophie is my English name. Today, um, I mean, I'm uh, 28 years old now. I um, currently live in uh, Dallas, Texas in the United States. But um, I travel back to Vietnam to visit my family and um, run my, some um, personal business here. So, um, um, my hometown is Mi Do you guys know Mi Yeah, this is about like an hour and a half or two hours away from Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, so in the U.S., I am a real estate agent. Uh, do you guys know what, like, who is a real estate agent mean? Do you no, have any? I... No. Okay, real estate agent is um a pe um people who helping um everyone like buying and selling the house. 
or uh-huh. rent out the house or properties. So yeah. that's what I'm doing over there. So when I back to um Vietnam now, I'm a English teacher part time at EIE. Uh, I I used to um teach English before in Vietnam and in the uh, US as well. So um, and my hobbies like I love to exploring the new places, travel, exploring new restaurants, um and cool place. So if I come to uh if I go to um Ho Chi Minh City, can you guys take me to some new place, um interesting place? Of course. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. And I also love um practicing yoga. Um do you love yoga? We I never try. You never but, try. But, yeah, but, but but I see it's in uh TV or uh my phone I I, I think it's interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's really uh, I like it because it's really helped me to calm down and like stretching make me feel really good after the long day working, especially working on the computer, you know. My yeah. shoulder hurts pretty bad, so yoga is really helpful. Yeah, you should try it. Yeah. Okay, um, does anyone have any question for me? No. No? Yeah. Okay, so I already ta- introduced myself, so I would love to know more about you guys. Uh, so can you uh please tell me your name or any nickname that you have, if you if you have um your age, where you from like your hometown, and um uh what you what your jobs and your hobbies, okay? So who volunteer first? <laughs> just two of you okay so uh now so you go first please uh okay my name is Ngoc. Mm, my nickname at home or my friend always uh call me sin s y n oh s y n yes okay, nice Where um, name? My, my hometown at uh saigon I I born in Saigon. Okay. Um, my job is uh, I uh, I work at uh RKW Vietnam in uh Bình Tân district. I we I um I work at the uh, QSSE department, uh, and I take care about uh, environment and uh, a little bit safety for the the company. Uh, I and Phuc work together, same the company and same the department. Nice, uh, really nice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my hope is, um, I don't know, I just like <laughs> stay at home and play game on my ta- my free time, just play game or do something, just, but just I, I want to just stay at home. Mm-hmm. What kind yeah. of video game? I I like video games too. Well, I I think you know. Uh, this uh audition. You you know this? Oh really? Like well, I yes. I played that for a long times ago, but mm-hmm. yeah, I played it a long yeah. times ago. Uh, I don't know if I'm still good at that or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, in uh, is it food? Right. Mm-hmm. I guess. Thank you, Ngao. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, my name's uh Phuc, and uh, uh, in uh, in uh, I I I don't have a uh, an English uh name. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh in a uh, 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 Vietnamese name, my my uh, my family uh he called me uh. <laughs> uh, like uh Pam uh P P A L M yes okay. uh yeah and uh, I'm uh, twenty uh, twenty six years old and uh, uh I uh, 
I come from uh, um, uh, in uh, Đắk Nông province. Now I am uh, am uh, living in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, in uh, Yung Đức Hiền Street, uh, uh, Tây 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 uh, uh, Tân Phú District. Okay. And uh, yeah, and I uh, I I I work uh, um, the same uh, department and uh, the same the company with the uh, Mid Ngoc. Okay. Yeah, and uh, my hub my hub is a uh, uh, I I really like singing and uh, when I uh, when I uh, was uh, a child. I have a dream to uh, to be a, a singer uh -huh. uh, and uh, yes and uh, I can sing e everywhere uh, when I when I uh, take a shower uh, when I go to work and everywhere I re I, I really like sing singing yeah I love to listen to um, you sing can you sing a little bit for me <laughs> uh, I'm I'm very shy. <laughs> oh, you shy? It's okay. Yes. <laughs> we can. Don't be shy. I I think uh, I I I need a a a a little uh, a a beer. Uncle Horn. <laughs> oh yes, uh, Uncle Horn. <laughs> so, we we may uh, set up um a night day out that we can like drink and like karaoke yes <laughs> cool it's really nice to know you guys um okay so how was your last weekend last Um, how was the last weekend food? What did did you do anything fun? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your last weekend? Last weekend. Là cái này là mình mô tả lại cái tuần vừa rồi của mình đó hả cô? Yeah, the thứ cuối tuần rồi á. Uh, for me, uh, my uh, last weekend. Uh, was uh my my last weekend was uh very uh uh um uh, very excited okay. because uh yeah be because uh in uh, in the last uh third day uh it's in my uh it was my uh, birthday oh belated uh, happy yes. birthday and, <laughs> yes and I uh I. I received uh, a lot of uh, many gifts from my uh, my husband, my uh, my uh, my mean? younger sister, and uh, uh, my uh, friend, my uh, my coworker, and okay. I'm so ha happy about about this. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. did you celebrate it like at home, or did you go anywhere? To celebrate um, it, I I celebrate uh, in in my home at home in my rent home. Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's nice. What about you now? Um, <clears throat> my uh, last weekend, I um I went to the game center with game my center. girlfriend. Yes, uh, we played game and. After that, we just stay at home, cooking, show, show movie. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just a quick um reminder a little bit um so we we watch the movie okay what oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we watch, watch the movie so um you get it very good at using the past sentence to describe about the activities that you done you did in the past that is how we uh we use we use to describe something happened in the past that we use the past simple sentence so it looks like you guys very know very well about this okay so we just revealed 
very quick. So to the, um, talk about something happened in the past, we use the past simple tense. So we use the subjects like I, he, she, they, and then the verb in the past. So with the verb, we have um, to be verb. This is will not like am, is, are as the present, right? But we use the words and were instead. And the or, we can use the regular or irregular verb to describe uh, the action, right? You get this very well about that. But uh, just very quick um, um, remind you guys about like when I noticed the word, when you pronounce, um, focus a little bit about the in sounds. You kind of forgot the in sounds a little bit, okay? So yeah. it's this very small mistake, okay? So now um, <clears throat> we, we will turn it to the unit eight. It's also about, about the past and um, the past uh, tense. Let me talk a bit, little bit about my uh, my last weekend. I went to um, movie theaters and uh, watch um, a very scary movie. Let me try to remember the name of it. Todd something. Uh, I just remember the name. The Vietnamese name is um. Wait. Wait. Tại ngã cô. From Thailand. Yes, that scary. is famous movie. Have, have you ever watched it? No, it but I see a lot of trailer in Facebook. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's really nice, yeah. kind of scary. My mom, I went, uh, I watched that movie with my mom, but she kind of closed the eyes a whole time. <laughs> okay, so now we um this unique we will learn about past symbol also, but we will learn about negative form and the question form. Okay. So do you know like the negative means right? It means like you something is not in the past. So it's kind of like you not you talk about something like not going in the past. So that's we we use the negative form in the past symbol. Did you see um the my screen right? Just double check that you see my screen. Yes. Okay, good. And we also learn about the question form. Oh, wow. So that's mean like we are uh, asking about something happened in the past. And about the uh, vocabularies, we will learn some adjectives to describe about the story, the entertainment, uh, pronunciation, we will learn how to clean the word. So I just go over uh, um, the, about that. Okay, so now we I have uh, some activities for you guys to warm up the class, okay? So uh, I have the flashcard. So uh, when you um, look at the uh, words, I want to thinking of uh, answer these two. So the topic today is also about the movie, the, the film. So, um, I want to thinking of a theme, like category, and okay, I would t ask you the question. Then this will be easier. Hold on. Ah, oh, sorry. Action film. Do you know about the action film? Can you yes. give me the um definition? Uh, explain about action film. By um, just explain to what you understand this mean. Uh, I I, it's a um have uh some people have, vũ khí or like go, weapon, weapons. Even like gun or yeah. knife. Yeah, action is yeah. kind of 
Yep. So actions is kind of with like violence. So mm -hmm. like you have a lot of move, like fighting, chasing, think, yeah. kind of yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, you right now, like is you you can usually we see with the weapons, like with the gun, with mm -hmm. knives, or anything like they are fighting. Like yeah, they, yeah. they act a lot. So that's the action film. Then adventure film. Book, do you have any idea about the action uh adventure film? Uh I I think uh adventure film is uh they cry about uh a chief or uh a chief or the uh journey is a uh uh how it cry about um a dangerous chief or dangerous journeys. Okay. Let's see. This is the theme about finding something or looking for something. You kind of get close to that. So it's just like, for example, like this movie. Do you remember, do you know this movie? Yeah, I know, but I, 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 yeah. So it's, it's, it's about like um, adventures kind of like you looking the in that movie, the it's kind of like looking for something or finding something like for treasure or for like some new cool place kind of something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Comedy film is easy one. Comedy. Uh, I, I, yeah. Comedy, com comedy film. I think uh, this uh, it uh, uh, have a uh, a person or uh, a many person uh, 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 make me um uh, make make us uh smile uh, when when we uh when we uh, see uh, a comedy. Film. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You get close to that, you get right. So isn't it film that make you laugh, right? You you laugh, you make you happy, make you laugh about that. Okay. Then historical theme is kind of easy to guess too. Historical theme. Historical film is the uh, I think some... it's uh uh it's a a, a document film. Uh, the best. Uh, yep. yeah. Yes. Yeah. The right. War, the, the war. The, mm -hmm. yeah, it's about something in the past, right? Yeah. The mm -hmm. war, right? Historical film is a film about the past, right? You guys did a very good job about that guessing hit, huh? Romance film. Romance film. Romance. Romance. About love, love, love story. story. Love story. You, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot you. Can you give me the um the one of the name for for the this kind of film? Uh, the the famous film I know is uh Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Do you have any Titanic? Titanic. Yeah. Titanic. Titanic. Yes. Uh, okay. Science fiction film. Science fiction. Mm. Science. Vision film? Can you guess? Some is say about something not not real. Okay. Uh, I I think yes. What about you, Phu? What you think? Mm, no, I I don't have a new idea. Um, okay. Science fiction, so it's about the science, right? Because it's having a sci science fiction, so it's about science. 
but it's about future. It's, it's not, it's, it's maybe true or not, yeah. but that is yeah. in the future. I'm, I'm not sure if it will be true or not, but it's about mm -hmm. something about future with the science, technology, uh, robots, uh, aliens, like Star Wars. Have you ever watched this movie, this film? No, I, no? I, I, I know this, but I, I, I don't like. Oh, you don't like fiction film? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see. And um, oh. you have the book with you, right? So we will learn some words to describe about the film. Okay. Boring. Boring. Okay. You repeat the word. Boring. Oh, I want you guys to, after any uh, words show up, like you practice to pronounce it, okay? Boring. Boring. Can you give me the opposite um adjective or the word that can describe it? Interesting. Uh, exciting. Interesting. Exciting. Yeah. So, not we opposite. Yeah, opposite. But like, can you say that word again, please? This this word in your screen. Uh, yeah, this word boring, right? What the opposite yeah. of boring? It's that uh, in interesting. 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 Repeat after yeah. me. Interesting. Interesting. No, in the first one. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. You can take the note if you want to. Interesting. All right. We have enjoyable. Do you get know what enjoyable mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's the opposite of it? You can give me any word opposite because it's having so many anonyms. So. I was a quiz in China ball is mm -hmm. uh, boring. Oh yeah, boring, right? Mm, we just yeah. learned it. Yeah. Okay, exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you guys know what is enjoyable means? It's fun. It's fun. It's yeah. nice to do. Okay. Yes. And exciting. Repeat after me. Exciting. Exciting. Uh huh. Cool. Repeat after Repeat. me. Exciting. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Exciting. So if you guys um cannot hear me well or um, something with the 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 sounds or you want me to repeat the word, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what is sight mean? So, not boring. So the opposite of that is boring. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Repeat, please. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Louder, please. Full. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Remember the last sounds. Um, fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. A uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So it mean really good. What are the opposites of it? Terrible. Terrible. Right. Good job. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, awful. Có được không cô? Awful, awful. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The yes. Okay. Fast moving. 
fast moving. Fast moving. So what opposite? Fast moving. What are the opposites of it? Slowly. Yeah, slow, slowly. Yeah, slowly. Brightening. 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 Mm -hmm. Brightening. Well, Can you speak, uh, read that word, please? Brightening. Brightening. Mm -hmm. Brightening. The F at first, so we are frightening. 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 Okay, so what opposites of frightening? Do you know what it means first? Do you know what it means? Yeah, I, I know. Okay. What the opposite? What the opposite? Not scary. Okay, not scary. Mm -hmm. Or what? Scary. So it's, it's not scary. Or oh, we can, maybe we use the grave. Yes, you, you can try mm -hmm. this. B R. Let's see how I can write it. Mm. You can write uh in chat box. You see it? I know. Uh, rough. Rave. Rave. It's the opposites, okay? Yes. So frightening opposites of fret rave. Okay. Okay. Next. Funny. Repeat. Funny. Repeat after me. Funny. 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 Uh huh. Good job. Funny. Funny. So opposites, easy one. Sad. Sad, yeah. Make you laugh, right? Or like cry. Happy. This easy one, huh? Happy. 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 And the opposite is sad, right? Sad. Yeah. Sad. sad. Not sad, okay? Sad. Sad. Yeah, this word I just teach you earlier. How to say it? Interesting. 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 Okay. Romantic. 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 Remember, like, so you see T I C. So C at the end, so it's usually like um, sound. So romantic. Romantic. Mm -hmm. Romantic. And this sad. Sad. Okay. Sad. You, anyone know how to say this word? Serious. 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 Mm -hmm. Serious. Serious. So you see, I O U S O S. Serious. 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 Mm -hmm. And full? Serious. Okay, good. Slow. Slow. Okay. Okay, so now we go back to um hold on. Uh, 
Uh, hold on, sorry. Here. Okay, we then with this one. So now I will show you a movie. Okay, I will let you to watch a movie. Did you propose to her? Do you know this movie, this film? This is a, a oh oh I I did comedy film. Uh huh. This is a comedy uh -huh. sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we we watch a, a small session of it. Okay. Okay, small video. That's a very short one. Did you propose to her? No. Yes, you did. Actually, technically, I didn't. Well, then why did you give me a ring? Wait, no, no, no. You, you gave her the ring? No, no, and I did not ask her to marry me. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And don't you say you didn't. Ah. He was right there, he got down on one knee, and he proposed. Oh, you were down on one knee? Yeah, yeah, that looks bad. But, but I didn't. I didn't propose. Then what did happen? Yeah, what did happen? Okay, the ring fell on the floor, and I went down to pick it up, and you thought I was proposing. Yeah, but you said, will you? Oh, hình như cái cái đường truyền nó bị sao á. Sao em thấy nó giật, giật quá trời luôn. Không biết chị Ngọc có thấy không? Ừ. Có bị hay do mạng của em không? Không, do, nó... do cô Đấy, chiếu giật. bằng cái screen vậy, nó truyền qua. Oh, okay, Để, let me try. This one. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Did you propose to her? No. Is it better? Actually, technically, I didn't. Is no. it better? No. No. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me. Did you propose to her? No. Yes, you did. Actually, technically... It's better? If not, let me copy the link and put in the chat. And you uh, yeah. open it, okay? Okay, you see? Do you see the link yet? Yeah, I see. Okay, so now you guys watch this and uh, let me know when you're done, okay? You done? Oh, uh, ten seconds. Okay. Okay, I I done.
Okay. Have you done book? Yes. Okay. I Okay, can you get um tell me what happened in the movie? Can can you tell me about the movie? The the, the movie that I just showed you. The movie stay about the the girl set with I I don't know the 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 man with a white shirt is uh -huh. like this is her her boyfriend I I don't know but uh -huh. it has some um some mistake about that them them uh, say that man that man uh, proposed her but proposed proposed. Okay. But Ro -pose. It, Ro -pose. Mm -hmm. but it's not like that because she he just um fell down the ring and and she just to um we go knee knee down right knee down and find out the ring but but the girls but the girls in may in may. It might, uh, he uh, robots her. Okay. Uh, what about you, book? What you think? Can you tell me in your your own way? Yes, uh, uh, wait me a minute. So this is um, did the the guys. Propose to the girl. Who? Uh, the the this uh movie uh the cry about uh the the the. The boys of uh, Robot uh, the girl uh in uh, Okay, so I want you to repeat up me. Propose. 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 You know you know the word? Um the word yeah. Yes. Okay. Propose. Bro. It, yeah, and ask the, a girl to marry him, right? Propose. Okay, we listen. Propose. Let's listen again the how they say it, okay? No. Did you propose to her? Did you propose to her? Did you propose to her? Okay. Propose, okay? No. Yes, you did. Oh, do you still see the videos over here in my screen or no? I see, but... Okay. Yes. So, see... Actually, technically, I didn't... Okay, see this sentence. Actually, ne Actually. technically, I didn't. So, see they how they use... The I didn't. What is this? So it's mean like he did not propose the girl, right? Yes. So that is what yes. I want to teach you guys about this uh, about um negative form. So basically, um, let's say. So. Negative form is when you describe something in the past, but it's not true or not happened. Okay. Yeah. So it's very easy. It's, it's easier than present because you don't have to remember do or does. It's easy. It's just like didn't and then the verb. And if, oh. if, it, it, uh, it's, if it were to be verb, 
it's only was wasn't or weren't right it's not like so we just add not after the verb you got it so it's a, like if it go after with the verb and you you have to have did not it mean didn't like for example she didn't kill herself with the snake okay so q is the verb so we add not in front of the verb right in the past yes. so we just add <clears throat> so did not we said we speak it out like didn't she didn't did kill herself with the snake or like for example right here like she visited her grandmother right she visited her grandmother this is is a affirmative form yeah. in the past but if we say like oh she she not visit her grandmother so we use she did not visit her grandmother doesn't matter he or she or i or they we still use did did uh huh. We don't we don't care about do or does. Okay. What if the verbs is to be? So, if the verb is to be, so we use was. Was not was not is wasn't. And then was not is weren't. Okay. Okay. Pronounce wasn't. Say wasn't. Wasn't yes, and then weren't. Weren't okay. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. So when we use wasn't, he she is or yeah. the name. Right, you got it now. Yeah. And when we use word weren't. Well, are you, we, they, mm -hmm. yep. or, uh, or two person? Blue pro, yeah. Blue yeah. pronouns. So, so you got kind of the idea of this yet? You know how to use, how to use negative form of the past symbol? Okay. So I want each of you give me one sentence with the negative form in the past uh, tense. Who want to go first? Okay, let me go first. He didn't propose her. So I just give you the sample of the videos that I show you. Okay, now your turn. I didn't have learned today. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> yes, good job. You did right. Yeah. Uh, I want you to give me one more sentence with the to be. The, the verbs were to be. Mm. Now, give me one more sentence with the to be verb. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I was I was um uh, a doctor. Oh. No, like um is that mean like you you were not a doctor in the past? Yeah. But no, it's <laughs> Yeah, mẹ cũng vậy mà. <laughs> so when you use the uh, past symbol sentence, that is mean you describe uh, something uh, happened in the past, already done in the past. Okay. 
So if you say, if you, that sentence, you have to use present, say, I'm not the doctor, because right now you are, you are not the doctor as well, okay? You only use the past symbol when you describe something already happened in the past. I was born in Ho Chi Minh City. You you were born in Ho Chi Minh City. I yes. Yes. Uh, what about a uh, negative one? Give give me another one. Yeah, that's correct. But like, I want a negative sentence. I like uh. <clears throat> I was. Or you can use he or she or. For example, like, okay, I can give you a sample like, she wasn't mad at me last night. Okay, she wasn't mad at you last night. Okay, so like, were you mad at me at last night? You say, no, she wasn't mad, mad angry okay so after to be it's kind of easy you just add the adjective after to verb. it's kind of easy like that way or the nouns okay all right so we do you have the book with you right yeah okay so we have the <clears throat> Open the page seventy one. I we do some exercise here, practice here. Number one, work in the pair and discuss. Cleopatra lived around two thousand years ago. Which things and did and did and people do in those days. Okay? You can look at the those uh sentence and guess what people you did or didn't do in those days, okay? Make a phone call. People People what? Did people make a phone calls in those days? No. Okay. People did, didn't. Okay. Please uh give me the full sentence with this. Did you use the same book? I just uh make sure that I... Oh, yes. Yeah. They didn't make they didn't make a phone call two thousand years ago. Yes, good job. But like uh just quick reminder, make a phone calls. Remember make a phone call. Yeah, S you see the S little after that? So make a phone calls S. Yeah, you mi both of you kinda miss the end sounds. That is create a difference in English. The the answer is very important. Okay, yeah. Yes. I know it's it's kind of hard to to remember that, but just uh pay attention a little bit and practice day by day a little bit, so it will make a difference after all. Okay, yeah. did they have a bath? Did they have bath? Mm. 
Ừ. Ừ. Ủa nhưng mà cái cái này nó nó có mẫu không? người cũng nói luôn hả cô? Dạ. Nói lại đi. <cười> so like the full ten uh, all the sentences here you you use the did and didn't. So do you think they we have a bad in 2000 years ago? Uh, yeah. I uh, I think in uh, 2000 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they didn't have bats. Really? Yes. yes. They didn't I have the bats. Yeah. Oh, that's smell badly if they didn't have the bats, right? Okay. And what about listen to the radio? Radio. No, I think they didn't listen to the radio 2000 ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they have um radio 2000 years ago, huh? Yes. What about when closed? So I know this is kind of easy, but the thing is that I want you to um speak out so I can hear if you pronounce this right or wrong and make the sentence with that. That's just kind of point of this yes. exercise for me. You know, I, I know this is kind of easy. It is kind of very easy to um, get a uh, did or didn't, but I want you to speak it out so I can hear you and correct you rightly. So now with the way closed. Uh, I think in uh, 2000 years ago, uh, they they didn't wear clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think uh -huh. they wear? What, what, what do you uh, think they, they wore 2000 years I, ago? I, I I think they were uh lips. They were my lips. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ý là mặc chắc lá yeah. cây đồ chứ là okay. có phù ngã không giống mình. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand years ago. So yeah, they were lips. Get married. Yes, I think they get married two thousand zero. Okay, they got married, right? Yeah. They got yeah. married to got that. Married. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And drive for cars. I think they, uh, they, uh, this, uh, they drive didn't. car. Drive? Uh, yes. Okay, repeat. They didn't drive cars. They didn't drive cars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did they go to the cinema? No, they didn't go to the cinema. Okay. And uh, write a poems and plays? Uh, no, they didn't they didn't write poems and plays. Oh, you think so? I think they did. I think they yeah. they wrote the poems because the poems is just in your minds, and yeah. uh, like they can't think of the the uh po the poems and or plays. That is my opinion. You may write and um, may wrong. Uh -huh. So yeah, just just guess. Okay. So and now practice two. Putting the sentences into the correct form, you can be positive or negative to make them true for you. Okay? Okay. Number one, put, can you um do number one for me, please? Uh, I, I went out last night. I went out last night. Okay. 
Number two. I watched a film last weekend. Yes, I watched the film last weekend. Number three. Uh, number, uh, I didn't go to the gym yesterday. You didn't go to the gym yesterday. Number four. I saw the TV news yesterday. Yeah, good job. Number five. Uh, I didn't listen to the radio this morning. Okay. Um, for, I want you to give it with the positive one. Try it with the positive one. I I uh, I uh, this listen to the radio 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 uh huh I listen to the radio this morning radio radio okay number six I didn't read a newspaper yesterday okay. I didn't read the newspaper yesterday. Okay, number seven. As I play a computer game yesterday. I play a computer game yesterday. Computer. Not computer. 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 Mm -hmm. I play a computer yesterday. I play a computer game yesterday. Uh -huh, yesterday, okay. Number eight. I bought a magazine yesterday. Bought. 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 I bought. Bought. I bought a um, magazine yesterday. I bought a magazine yesterday. I, I can hear you sound like pop. Not pa, not pa, not pa, not pa, but they be as a boy. Oh, I bought. I I bought. Oh, I bought. Uh, like B, they be you bold. they say you say like P already like you say like pa now, pa. Bought. Mm -hmm. I bought a magazine yesterday. I bought. I bought a magazine yesterday. Yeah, better. Number oh. nine. Uh, I didn't drive a car yesterday. I didn't drive a car yesterday. Okay. Number ten. I spoke English yesterday. Yes, I spoke English yesterday. Okay, the job. So now we go to, uh, um, let's see. We go back to this one. We have some activity. Okay, so... We have we have um blank here. We will add the verb in to make it the sentences. Okay, the place for this to create a place with. So to blah 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 dinner for friends. What verb we can use here? Cooking. You, yeah. To cook dinner for friends. Cook. Yeah. Yes. To cook a dinner for friends. Yes. Two. So this will be the fob. Two. To musical. listen. Oh. Musical is kind of the uh, place of playing music. So we can listen. listen. I guess it's we kind of do like go to is better. Because this goes is kind of like concert, kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. 
like we listen to music. We listen to music, but this is a musical. Okay. Okay. A DVD at home. Play, play a DVD at home. DVD. DVD. Watch. DVD is Watch. kind of, you know, like the, um, not the video games. We play video games, uh, but this is DVD. Yeah. Okay. Party. Go to. Go to what? I, I want to read the full sentence, so I just want uh, to make sure that you pronounce this right. Go to a party. A party. Go to a party. Yay! And this? Go to a concert. Yes, go to a what? Less louder, go please. Concert. Go to a concert. Go to a concert. Mm -hmm. Concert. Computer games. To play computer games. Yes, yeah, to play computer games. Music. To, uh, to listen music. Yeah, listen, listen to music. music or download the music. Why Why we don't see how I have to listen here? Because we don't have the two, right? Two. You yeah. listen to. But this one, you don't have the music, so we can lay down a lot of music. Oh. Uh -huh. But listen, listen is right, but like we have a listen to music, okay? Yes. Out for dinner. Do you know what? Go out. out. Go out for yeah. dinner. Yes, to go out for dinner. You got it, Fu? Okay. To uh, read a book. Uh huh. Read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Okay. Can anyone say it, please? Give me the answer, please. Go to the cinema. Yes, go to the cinema. 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 Okay. Yes, you just talk about this earlier now. <laughs> go for a walk, right? Yeah. Say it again, please. Go for a walk. Mm -hmm. So, L, K. So, when you see L, your tongues will be on top like it. Yeah? Walk. Yeah. Walk. Yeah. So you see L is will be like that. This is kind of very close but when you hear this, it's very close to like word, right? Word. Japanese. Walk. Yeah. So that's why we need the 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 answer because of, so it will walk. And the other one you kind of missing, I mean, misunderstand is word or walk, right? Yeah. That is a, that is why we really hmm. focus on the end sounds and pronounce walk, 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 word, yeah, walk, walk. So. Okay. We'll go to the theater. Theater. Go to the theater. 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 Okay. Theater. Go to theater, right? Okay, so now we go back to that. Mm. 
Okay, and then I would like you to select two activities that you just learned from that and describe them to make sure that you include at least one negative statement in the past simple tenses. Do, do you understand, uh, understand the task here? Yes. So we have 12 activities here. You pick it out two activities that you want, but to create a uh, sentence or a story, but like you um, have to have at least one negative form of the passive, um, past tenses. Okay. I will give you about one minute for this. All right, have you done yet? Okay, you done yet? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, can you give me this, uh, your uh, sentences, your exercise? Oh. Okay, read it for me, please. In the last... In in last weekend, I played computer games and uh, didn't go out for dinner. Okay. You didn't go out for dinner. Good job. And you, your turn. Không, để em hỏi lại là là cái hồi nãy là là cô nói là mình kể ít nhất hai hoạt động nói chung là về quá khứ rồi đúng không cô? Uh -huh. chứ, so chứ đâu phải là cái cái bài này đúng không? Không, oh. no. So you see uh twelve phrases here, right? 
so you to at least two two phrase two activity uh. here. and then you have to create at least one one sentence with a negative form like just what Ngọc did like he didn't um didn't go um, play he didn't uh, play the computer games so you just pick the your your favorite activity and create the sentence with the negative form uh yes uh I uh I I I went to the cinema last night so I didn't go to the concert with my friends. Yes. Uh sorry, it's kind of loud here. Sorry, can you repeat please? Uh I went to the cinema last night. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't go to the concert with uh, my friend. Yes, good job. You got it. All right. So now uh, I will let you listen to this very famous um, song. This name, We Will Crock You. Hopefully that you can listen from here. Hold on. Can you hear it well? No, no. I can't hear. I can't hear anything. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Again, let me copy and put in the, the chat. See it? Did you see the clean yet? It's in the yes. chat spot. Yes. Okay. Oh. I want to introduce you to that um very famous song. You may hear that's a rhythm somewhere already huh yeah already Let me know when you're done with the videos. Or what? I can't hear anything in YouTube. You cannot hear anything from YouTube? Yeah, yes. I, I don't know why. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, chị mở YouTube không nghe được hả? 
Ừ, nghe gì hết Em nghe được nè, em nghe được nè Ừ, sao không nghe được gì hết Ủa, kỳ vậy? Em nghe bình thường á Mở, mở, Ừ tự mở youtube tôi nghe thì Đang mở youtube nè, không nghe được gì hết Ok So, maybe we check it later Some, Maybe something wrong with uh... Ok Okay, now we do a small SS activity here. So look at the book. Do you have this in your book? It's about um the article is about Queen. Is um the very it's a very famous rock band. Okay, so number one, you look at the picture, read the article, and answer the question. Okay. Yes. Have you done? Okay, now we go together, okay? <laughs> Number one, which country is the Grok band queen from? Anyone tell me so where's from? British. Where's the rock band from? They're from British. Yeah, British. Say it again, the British. British. Mm -hmm. Because you see the S and H sound at the end, so it's British. 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 Yeah. British. Mm -hmm. British. Can you can you pronounce this as well, Fook? British. Um, British. British. The, the end shall British. is British. Number two. British. Mm -hmm. Number two, who was the lead singer? Uh, Freddie Mercury is the, uh, was the lead singer. Okay. Freddie Mercury was the lead singer. 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 Okay. Number three. Which two members still play in the band? It's a uh, guitar. Hmm? So here we have Freddie Mercury died in 1991, right? So Freddie yeah. already died. John Deacon left the band in 1997, but Brian May and Jogger Taylor continue play. to play together. Okay, so can you answer the number three, please? No. Uh, to remember still play in the pen is uh, were 
Brian May and Kroger Taylor. So, um, because this one is, is I guess they still blame because it's, you see the question is the presence. So, so you say, you say, pray and may. They, Go ahead. They are, uh, they were Brian May and Roger, Roger Taylor. Which okay. two members do play in them? Okay. Number four. Can you name three of their hit songs? Uh, three names of their hit song were uh, Bohemian Rap. We will use R here because they, they it's they always the hit song, so it's it's kind of fact. Okay. Yeah. So he say three of yeah, their yeah. songs are. Bohemians Rhapsody. We are the champions. Champions. Cham champions. And champions. we will crock you. That is the song that I just um I let you listen to it. Okay. We have just a few minutes left for today. Um I will let you listen to this for the next class. Um, before we end the class today, I will have something that to, first of all, remember, like, try to practice your last, the end sounds when you speaking English, okay? That is very mm -hmm. important. And, um, after today... I would love you to watch some more movie with the subtitles. Okay, that's is. Uh, I want to uh, share with you. That is how I learned English when when I was go to school and like practice English. Though watching movie, uh, or news with the subtitles at the best as you can and try to understand it. Like you don't need to listen some or watch something very difficult just go with something yeah. very simple basic uh for example like friends the movie that i showed you earlier remember yeah that's a very yeah. easy one for you to start with to listen you can listen to them for example like in practice repeat after them you can stop the, the videos and repeat what they saying. Hold on. For example, okay? Like, you play the just fighting the very short video like this, so you don't get tired of the very, the whole uh, section, okay? So looking for something very short videos like it is just about one minute and you play it. Did yes. you propose to her? So, and then they say, did you propose to her? And then you repeat after them. Try the best to copy them at the best that you can, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you see, you try to hear how they say it and repeat, repeat until you master it. Oh. See? how did he say he not only say no he say like no see how they add some like attitude some um tone some um tone in it it's created different it's not like you say no that's it like, no yes you did see yes you did so you see what i'm doing so you i yeah. just play it and then stop and then repeat after that. Try the best practice this and like you keep in practice, practice and it will turn into your habit. And one day this will come out of your mouth naturally. You know, you just turn it. Yes. It's just like you speak Vietnamese. You just uh, 
copy for some new slang and you just copy it and you use it in daily and then you will master it and you say this very naturally without thinking so for example like you you i ask you like did you go to the movie say yes i did or is the different when i yes i did is is can you hear the difference between two sentences yes. yeah so that is your homework for today's uh, watch some very short movie or short sentence uh, i suggest friends okay mm -hmm. and uh, practice with um what you learned today what did you learn today can you remind me what what's the lesson today that you learned from me um, negative but simple yes and uh, some uh, kind of movie yes good job yeah so today we learn about a like, negative form of the passive tense that we describe something that not happened or not true in the past right so when you in your daily even you not use your English, like maybe sometimes your job is you, you, you don't use your English, but like you can think it in your mind. Like for example, like you say like, hey, uh, like I ask you like, hôm nay có đi làm không? right? If you do not go to work today, uh, I mean yesterday you, hôm qua có đi làm không? And you didn't go to work today and say, and you can say in, Vietnamese, but your head, it was translated in your head. Or you can speak it mm -hmm. out to yourself, like, no, I didn't go to work yesterday. That is how you train your mind and train your pronunciation, okay? Um, that is second tips. And um, I also uh, share the link of the flashcard that learn about new vocabulary in the chat spot. Um, can you double check that you make sure that you have it? You see it in the chat box? Yeah, yeah, I, I see. Okay, uh, now you click on that to make sure that you can open it because I created um, in my account, but I just want to make sure that you can access to, to that and Can you get in the link and get through? Yeah, yeah, I, I can open it. Okay, you can open it, good. Yeah. And um, you learn it, then you can practice this by your memory by, um, oh, hold on. So they also have the uh, practice mode. For example, like you, you see my screen, see here. Is we have the yeah. definitions like a film with the violence of fighting and chasing. What's that? What's the action answer? movie? Action movie. Action film. Action yeah. film. Yes. See, this is how you practice it. I create this for you for the vocabulary for this unit eight. So when you have time, instead of playing game, you can play in this as a game as well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. That is all I want you to do for today. I mean, tonight, if you have time, if you're not tired, you can practice on this and Wednesday. And then it, I will see you next Thursday with... um. Continue, we will learn more about the... Make, um, past sentence with the question form, okay? And the rest of the unit. So do you have any question for me after today's les uh, lesson today? No. No? But uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. How long you stay here? Um, few months i am not sure yet because it also depends on my business here uh -huh. yeah uh, i don't i haven't booked the the ticket 
uh, the flight ticket uh, back to the US yet. Yeah. You can uh, you can also add me on Facebook if you have any question. Feel free to reach out to me and uh, I will help you out. Uh, let me see Facebook. This is my Facebook. Yeah, this is my Facebook. Do you see it? Nikaka? Yes. What's mean? Um, so Ni is my name, but in creative ways that I change Y instead of I. Uh, Kat Kat is the name of my coffee shop. Uh, my family used to have a coffee uh, shop named uh, Kat Kat, yeah. and like in my hometown, uh, our coffee shop is very was very famous. Everyone know me with that shop coffee shop, so they call me Nhi Kat Kat. So I use that for my Facebook just for easier to for people to recognize uh, me in my hometown. Um, I have used I, this for like more than 10 years so and I'm not really thinking of uh changing it yeah but uh how do you think about the lesson today is that too fast or too slow for you or do you have any suggestion for me for the next lesson um uh I think uh, the the lesson today is uh, uh um, um maybe uh maybe have uh of maybe maybe it's a uh, fast for for me but uh, fast for you okay. I, I I yes but I will uh, I will try my best in the next lesson because I think. Uh, in the lesson, if uh, if we uh, have uh, many agenda to uh, practice English, uh, such as uh, the teacher us, uh, and this us uh, by English here, uh, <laughs> uh, we will uh, we will uh, improve improve our skill uh, uh, in the uh, better. Yeah, that's is um em nói đại ấy chứ. Dạ. Yeah. Em biết là sai nhưng mà nhưng mà em nghĩ là ý là trong mặc dù là cái buổi học hôm nay thì so với cái khả năng của em thì em thấy là có một chút hơi nhanh tại nhiều lúc em cũng chưa có uh, chưa có lấy kịp nhưng mà nhưng mà em nghĩ là kiểu như đây cũng là cái cơ hội để uh, em nhạy hơn với tiếng Anh đó thay à. vì là có thể là trong buổi học thì mình có nói tiếng Việt hay này kia giải thích nhưng mà à, em nghĩ là càng nó tiếp xúc nhiều hơn thì em sẽ càng nhanh hiểu hơn nhanh à, hả? thì à, cứ dạ. có có cái gì mà em không hiểu thì cứ 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 mà tự mạnh dạng tự tin hỏi chị um, chưa bằng chị thì we, we we just about uh, three years two or three years apart huh? có có hai ba tuổi yeah. khác nhau thôi yeah um, nếu mà mà cảm thấy là chị chị luôn ưu tiên là sử dụng tiếng anh để mà mình tại vì mình học tiếng anh là mình sử dụng tiếng anh nhưng mà nếu trường hợp mà chị đã giải thích bằng tiếng anh mà em vẫn chưa có hiểu thì em mới nói ờ uh, em chị có thể nói giải thích lại bằng tiếng việt cho em được không thì Uh, yeah. chị sẵn sàng giải thích cho chị em còn ví dụ như mà nếu chị ơi phần này nhanh quá uh, chị có thể uh, giải thích uh, rõ hơn một chút xíu hay là chậm lại chút xíu thì cứ nói tại vì uh, mình mình cũng cũng cỡ ngang ngang tuổi nhau thì cứ tự tin thoải mái chia sẻ thì mình mình đừng có sợ sai và sợ mắc cỡ thì hết á tại mình mình không không biết thì mình mới tới đi mình học nên là đừng có sợ mắc cỡ hay sợ sai gì hết ok dạ yeah. nói chung là 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 em rất là thích cái cái giọng của chị á nói chung oh, là học rất là là hay em cũng rất là hào hứng nhưng mà à. không biết buổi sau chị có dạy nữa không à, trước mắt thì là chắc là có à, thì anh à, bên trung tâm giao cho chị là dạy thứ ba thứ năm luôn á thì có à, gì là chị dạy luôn dạy luôn đúng không 
à, có gì vậy? Cờ, cờ thông báo bên trung tâm sẽ thông báo cho em biết ha thì thật sự là bữa nay là cũng bữa đầu tiên nên là chị cũng chưa biết cái 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 nhịp độ của hai em như thế nào thì tiếc sao thì chị cần có gì chị sẽ điều chỉnh cho nó hợp lý hơn rồi mình 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 làm quen mình mình quen mình biết cái kiểu cách của nhau học rồi mình sẽ sẽ quen hơn All right. Um, bây giờ cũng trẻ rồi. This this kind of late now. I like to guys to um I enjoy your night. Yes. I, I have lunch, dinner, take a break. Boom. All right. Good night and see you. Okay. Good night, uh, teacher. Good see night, you. teacher. Yeah. See ya. Bye.